All right, another video. <laughs> There's a lot of bad videos out here. I saw this tool time thing, and it just sounded like a big cop out. So this is just another guy saying, don't worry about it. Even if the animals are suffering, so what? Because none of it matters. Because suffering isn't, nobody can figure out that that's a value. Nobody can establish that as a value. So we can ignore all of that, and it doesn't matter. We don't need a moral dictate. It's a rational argument, okay? The value of your comfort against the comfort of all the little sentience that you abuse in your lifetime to acquire your comfort. And you're making this arrogant statement that somehow you're worth it. That somehow your accomplishment in life is so fucking magnificent that, uh, yeah, you can justify what you take from them. Because you make this bogus argument that, well, nature's doing it. Nature's doing it. Somehow it's not as stupid as a religion. It's not as stupid as a religion to basically cannibalize other living things, other sentient creatures, to just ignore their capacity to be harmed to your own advantage, that somehow that's a defensible position. This is always such a game people play. They always try to structure any kind of argument made about oughts and try to turn it into a moral doctrine. It's not a doctrine. It's not dogma written in a book by a god. It's a rational argument people have put on the table that what you're basically doing if you're a carnivore, okay, is accepting an ignorant paradigm. You're accepting nature. Well, guess what? That's dumber than asking Jesus. That's dumber than saying, what would Jesus do? To say, what would the DNA do? All right, because we know what the DNA would do. It would build a great white shark. That's what the fucking DNA would do. I think that requires a metaphysics that just can't be um, really- oh, What a crock of shit. It, it requires the simple statement that I recognize that sentience is the core value. That is not that hard to do. If you look at anything that has value, a shiny car, a pretty diamond, you can't name a fucking thing on this earth. And the only reason why anything has any value on this fucking earth is because it can somehow please a human being or prevent their harm or give them comfort. That's what everything has value for. That's what money buys is comfort, you fucker. So this is just such bullshit. It doesn't require any kind of metaphysics to accept the simple fucking goddamn precept that it's about the goddamn suffering you stupid fucking cunt. That is not a religion. That's just an observed fact of our existence and it's one your own testimony cannot deny. Your own behavior testifies to the fact that you don't like it when you're hurt. You don't fucking like it and you'll pay money to avoid it, you fucker. So don't pretend that this is metaphysics or this is fucking goddamn dogma. I don't really see any specific reason why we have to give an animal full moral consideration. We're talking about values. We're talking about a simple definition of something that is productive and something that is destructive. Productive eliminates pain and suffering and provides comfort. Destructive creates pain and suffering, okay, and discomfort. There, not that complicated. I mean, this is just an evolution of logic, okay, and understanding. We have become more capable of understanding that, yeah, well, this was wrong, and that was wrong, killing the Indians was wrong. Yeah, all we were basically doing is we come to North America, and what did we fucking goddamn do? We basically slaughtered people that were only 40,000 years, our relatives, our brother. They were our literal brother 40,000 years ago, and we slaughtered them like they were fucking goddamn rutabagas. I'm probably against factory farming for somewhat different reasons than you are, but I'm not like, yay, wanton meat eating, just go out and... No, I think that people should uh, be as res morally responsible as they can, they should inform themselves as much as they can, but at the same time, what I resent is people like the person I was making the video response to, or the people who blast you with the, uh, you know, the PETA people who said... Oh, whatever, this is not an argument. This is not an argument defending the taking of another sentient creature's welfare for your comfort and aggrandizement to take what they have merely because they're dumber than you. No other qualified justification. It's just might makes right, period. There's nothing else here. It's exploitation, okay? And that's the, the, no, that's the nature of the slavery comparison. 
It's exploitation for convenience, not exploitation for necessity, and it's not exploitation that can be justified. Again, if you're going to rationally judge what is valuable on this stinking shithole, what is valuable is the welfare of sentient beings, and you, you saying that it's only humans that matter is just a fucking lie. It's just your ego talking. It has, that has no rational, reasonable, there's nothing, nothing rational can make anything out of that. A few chromosomes have decided my fate. I mean, this is just bullshit. How is it that the vegans and the, the animal rights activists try to condemn, say, our ancient ancestors for meat eating? Um, the, the, not only do we evolve. Oh, whatever. Condemn them? No, they just point out that they were ignorant. All right, just as we point out that the slave owners were ignorant, just as we can point out that the, all the tyrannies and abuses that have taken place in the past, the chauvinists were ignorant. We can point that out. Just, man, your rhetoric is so fucking slimy. I mean, we, you know, vegetarians aren't wasting their time looking backwards and, you know, wagging their finger. No, they're looking right here in the present and wagging their finger. And they're looking at the future and saying, why would you impose your silly addiction on the future? Why would you create new slave masters? At the very least, there is no reason whatsoever to be a smug vegan. Um, and uh, it's not about being smug, you fucker. It's about recognizing that we, as a human race, are failing dismally. Just like with religion, it's not for some good reason. It's for fucking goddamn retarded reasons. Because assholes keep dragging us back and making rationalizations and excuses for our fucking bullshit, nonsense, idiotic notions, our engrandizing bullshit that all you fuckers live on. The fucking subject, too, is about the fact that it's just an acquired taste. It's a conditioned preference. If you don't condition somebody to need it, they won't need it. It's that fucking simple. But as long as people keep defending it, then people will keep imposing it and it'll keep being part of the pop culture. It's got to become not pop culture. But even raised in it as I was, it wasn't that much work to step away from it. So this whole idea that these addicts are going to go through hell and it's going to be the worst, horrible, no, it isn't that fucking goddamn bad. I mean, you wean yourself off that shit fairly easy. That's what life is fucking goddamn made out of. There's good fucking feelings and there's bad fucking feelings. There's good fucking times and bad fucking times. It's not that fucking complicated. If you're imposing bad fucking times, then you fucking suck. Not that fucking complicated. The math is really fucking simple.